Welcome back all you slackers to another video brought to you by me, Ashkels93, with the Slack and Armchair supporters. This is going to be a match preview video for Liverpool versus Luton Town. And while well, I've just been doing a little bit of looking, a bit of research for this, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting game, I think. Um, you know what? I'm going to give you a score prediction. I'm going to give you a lineup prediction. I'm going to give you a match prediction. I'm going to let you know what I think, how I think it's going to go, how we're going to line up, especially with new injuries and whatsoever. Um, just before I do that, though, please, if you will, like the video if you're enjoying the content. Also, hit that subscribe button and share me with your friends, family, or colleagues. And um, let's get into it. So, firstly, I'm going to start with a score prediction. Um, it's, yeah, I think it's going to be a bit... I don't know, Luton are a bit of a hit and miss sort of side. Um, I've just looked through their their like history, their last few, their last nine games is what I've looked at. And they have three wins, three draws and three losses. They are such a hit and miss team. I just, I, I, you just don't know what's going to turn up. So I, I think it's going to be a bit tight. And some of them results are really impressive, like a 4-0 win against Brighton. But then, like a draw with... Bolton in the FA Cup. It's it's strange, like you know, they show up for games and then they don't show up for other games. So I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a tight one anyway, Anfield. It tends to always be a tight one when Liverpool are involved. They can't just do it the easy way. Um so I'm gonna go with a good old fashioned Liverpool score and I'm gonna go with three one to Liverpool. Um but then again it could be one nil, it could be two one. I do think it's gonna be a tight one. I'm just Hoping it'll be a 3 1. Hope it'll be comfortable, you know, a nice easy win before the cup final on Sunday, you know, where we can, well, we, we can, we're not really going to be able to rest players, I don't think. Maybe Klopp will, um, but I doubt it. Um, you can't, you've got to win all the games. So you've got to have everybody who, you, who can, you've got to have your best team out there. So hopefully that's what will happen. Um, that's certainly what I've done with my lineup prediction. Um, yeah, as for the match itself, like I said, I think it's going to be a tight one. Um, Liverpool, if they play like they did against Brentford, they played very well against Brentford. That was a much better performance against Brentford. The Arsenal performance, I, I keep mentioning it, it was absolutely terrible. It was horse poo. Um, and then again, the, the week after that against Burnley, it was not much better. We'd, I know we won that one 3-1. But the performance was poor. It's just we were playing a poor opposition. The, the the performance against Brentford was much more composed, much better. I don't know what changed, but something just kicked. Something clicked in. Not sure what happened, but we just we were just far more assured, far more composed, and we done a really good job away to Brentford. And Brentford are a difficult team to play. <clears throat> so if that team turns up. You know, we might have one eye looking on the final on Sunday. Hopefully, well, obviously we should always be looking to the final, but hopefully we can, you know, get our heads in this game and put on a performance, get an easy win, and then rest up and get ready for the weekend. Um, obviously, it's a much bigger game. Um, first chance of silverware in the in the season, so that would be nice. Um, then, as for my lineup prediction, um, I've gone, it's... It's Monday, and it's been very difficult to find um, information about the injuries that have happened. There's nothing really been said or done. Any, any nothing's been said in the news or anything or the media about what injuries have, like the extent of Jota's injury or Jones. Jota, well, Jota apparently is he's going to be gone for a while, sort of April time. They're thinking two months, but other than that, Jones, they're not sure. Apparently, Salah might have. Um, Damn it, that knock that he took um, a while while he was away with Egypt. Apparently he's like that's flared up again. So he's a doubt. Nunes, they don't know the extent of why he came off. Um, it's been very hard to find information about the injuries. So I don't really have much. I am sort of guessing here with my lineup. Um, also the ex Allison as well. He's out. Is he back? Is he not? Honestly, I have not been able to find anything. I've looked everywhere for news on the injury, like, news updates. There has been nothing. And like I said, it's Monday. Maybe Klopp 
in his press conference whenever that is but as i'm making this video i haven't seen it so this is what i've gone with based on that knowledge so i've gone with Kelleher in goal i'm just not sure if Allison's going to be ready or not. I don't know if he's injured or whatever. So Keller is in goal. He'll also be playing at the weekend against Chelsea because he is our cup keeper. So um, it would be nice if Allison was there, but just don't know. So to be safe, I'll put Keller in. Then at left back, I've gone with Robertson. Now, again, if Klopp wants to rotate to rest a few players um, for... The weekend i can see gomez being at left back but i've gone with robertson because i think we need full strength um so there's robertson at left back van dyke and canate i've gone with center backs and then bradley as right back because trent alexander arnold is still out he's going to be out until i think until the middle of march sometime so he's going to miss a good few games then in the midfield i've gone with endo because endo has turned out to be an absolutely incredible signing I really do like the work that he's doing and it, he's, he's just really impressive. Um, he's just an absolute workhorse. So I've gone with Endo in the number six role or like the defensive midfield. And I've then gone with McAllister and Elliot. Again, that is due to Jones not having a clue what the story is with Jones's injury, whether it's going to be just a little knock and he's, you know, going to walk it off or whether it's something more serious and he might be out for a few games. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully he's back as soon as possible. Hopefully he's in contention for this game. But, like I said, there's been no news. Then, up top, I've gone with Diaz and Salah on the wings. Um, yeah, Salah, I've put Salah in because this is the report I had about him, um, that injury he suffered, about that coming back. That was like from an Egyptian reporter or whatever, or an Egyptian newspaper or whatever. I'm not so I'm not sure how like how serious that is or how like true it is. Maybe it's a load of nothing. I don't know. Um, I don't know the credibility of said newspaper or reporter. So I'll put Salah in because he didn't come off. He wasn't injured. He didn't look injured, and I haven't heard anything else. So Salah goes in for me, and so he should. He's back now. He should be starting all the games. Diaz on the left because he's incredible. Um, again, come back into form after a sloppy few games there. Well, it was more than a few games, about five weeks, um, like around December time. And then I've gone with Gakpo through the middle because, again, this injury to Nunes, which didn't look like an injury, apparently it's it's some sort of knock that he's, he's he felt something and to be safe, they brought him off, basically. So I've gone with Gakpo through the middle. Um, and yeah, I think that's a team that's going to go and get the job done against Luton, surely. Um, especially at Anfield. It's at Anfield. Home advantage, you know, in front of a very emotional Anfield as it is at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think Liverpool are going to go comfortably win this 3-1 with that line-up, hopefully. And yeah, and then we'll go on to the, the final on Sunday. Like I said, everybody's got one eye on that. Um, with this being a rescheduled match, we should have actually been resting right now. But because that had to be rescheduled, it had to fit in right now, just before the final. And yeah, so there is always going to be one eye on the final. Um, but yeah, that's my predictions. That's my score, lineup, and match prediction. Let me know how I did, guys. Get in the comments. And let me know where you think I've gone wrong, what you think the score will be, who do you think is going to score? Um, anything, anything you think I've done wrong or anything you think I, or you agree with, anything I've done right, let me know. And um, yeah, I'll be live for this game. That's Wednesday. It's a half past seven kickoff. It's a strange one. I hope it's not on a strange channel like Amazon. I don't get them channels. So, but I'll, I'll be watching it anyway. I will find it somewhere. I just hope it's not on Amazon. Um, so yeah, half past seven kickoff. It's live from Anfield. I'll be live just before the game, like always. I look forward to seeing you guys there. And again, if you haven't already, leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button. And until then, peace and love, guys.